What up, this is your boy Joe Flizzo from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, representing Cartel Records. Cartello, hello, what's good? Biggest highlight in my career. I think I've had a pretty colorful career as an artist. You know, first starting out um, in the underground in the Malaysian scene, um, having being able to contribute a bit to you know the scene out here. Um, I would like to think that I haven't had the biggest highlight of my career. hasn't happened yet. You know, although, like I said, you know, I've you know we've managed to perform with a lot of you know artists that I used to look up to, like. I think one of the highlights was performing at the Asian Hip Hop Festival 2008, sharing the stage with Nas, Titanium, Zebra, uh, a lot of you know great artists and performers from all over Asia. Yeah, and also you know there are a lot of good memories too, like performing solar concerts in Indonesia, Brunei. Um, Singapore you know of course Malaysia and you know I've, I've had the opportunity to travel quite a bit too in this career so yeah if I could tour I know this might sound cliche but if I could tour with somebody who's not here anymore uh, I think it'd be Tupac because I think Tupac is you know a great performer great entertainer but at the same time I think he's a brilliant individual you know um, you know I think I learned a lot from him just partying on tour and just like spending time chilling if you know obviously it's a hypothetical question but yeah also maybe Aliyah because Aliyah's my age and you know she left us too early as well so rest in peace Aliyah uh, locally we're really excited about uh, the release of uh, Sona One's album we've been working on Sona One's album for the last one year um, I think it's Highly anticipated out here in Malaysia as well, so he's definitely one of the rappers to look up as a lyricist, as a producer, I think. He's the future of Malaysian hip-hop, you know. Um, on an international level, I think hip-hop is coming back. I love the new J. Cole album. Um, I'm feeling the whole Hit Boy production with the new HS87 collective. That album, I think, is, is dope. So yeah, a lot of artists too, obviously. Um, Kendrick Lamar, the ASAP Rockies of the world, you know, obviously bringing hip hop back, so that's what's up. I think inspiration comes from, can come from many things, you know, it can come from a movie, it can come from, you know, you just chilling, watching people walk past. Um, it can come from another song, you know, that might take you back to a, to a time when, you know, you can get in the zone and inspire you, you know, things you know um, I'm also inspired by people like just watching people every day hustle you know in different countries like like I said you know I managed to travel a bit last year we went to 17 cities I spent three months traveling doing hip-hop in Asia which is this first hip-hop travel show and you know just watching people trying to do hip-hop in different parts of the world you know is inspiring as well I think early in my career, like I already knew that I want to be a rapper. Although I, I finished my studies, I did. Um, I did advertising in college, and you know I managed to finish my education. But um, I think early on, right after high school, and once we started performing with Too Fat, you know we started. We sort of like saw a movement coming up in KL. Like first gig, 700 people. Second gig like 900, third gig 1,000, and then next thing you know like 5,000 people at our shows, and we realized that you know these kids are like they hanging on to our words and whatever we're saying, and and you know this movement started like very naturally. Um, we started running with you know the b-boys, the graffiti writers, the DJs, and like I said we. You know, as a collective, we managed to, I think, play quite an important role in uh, creating a platform for hip-hop in Malaysia, you know. Um, of course, shout-out goes out to, shout-out to, you know, the people that came before us too, but, yeah. I think at that point, you know, that at my first show with Too Fat, 
once we saw that 700, I remember seven, no, 892 people came to that show. And uh, yeah, I think the energy from the, from the audience and the confidence that people just kept coming up to us and kept telling us to keep doing our thing. I think that's when I knew that I couldn't live without music.